good morning if you're watching this morning time um, maybe good evening afternoon wherever you are and whatever time it is again i hope you guys are all doing awesome out there welcome to the stamps of life store in southern california this is ken i am um, have a little bit of extra time so i wanted to pop in here and show you uh something fun with our box it die it's really easy to use and you can do a lot of fun stuff with it it's something we've had around for quite some time so if you are new to the Stamps of Life, you might find this very interesting and fun. I'm going to show you there's two different versions of the box it die. I've already worked with it a little bit this morning and it really is easy to use. I'm going to show you some of the ideas first from uh, the design team, what you can do with the box it die. So the box it die looks kind of funny, but I'll show you what it looks like. There's two different, different sizes. There's the large size and then we have the small box it die. The large is this size here. It will work with uh, Stamps of Life fold its any larger dies. I was just starting to think outside the box with square dies, circle dies, fold its. This die will create the box that goes in between the two sections of the fold it. The box you can decorate, you can add treats, goodies, a gift, lots of different fun ideas there. So there's our snowman. Now a couple of these dies are retired, but I think that there are new versions of maybe the snowman and another one I'll show you here in a second that are in the works. So there are some fun things coming in the future, okay? Now if you use it to fold it, you can also have your card front here in the front. I'm going to just make it as a box it for a treat, a little gift, but if you want to have the card, it can open up and you can also have the card in there too. So that is really great. Then this is uh, coming up with Easter. And I believe, again, that we have an uh, Easter fold it coming up pretty soon. This one is really beautiful. It uses the um, Stamps of Life Easter egg fold it. And it's been decorated to be a basket. And we also have this one here with the box it on the inside. This is, again, all using larger bo the larger box on, on uh, the larger box it die on these um, projects. This is a really nice one as well. You can open up. You can add your sentiments in there if you like. Again, we're, for my version, I'm just going to do the front panel and we'll have the back panel. Then we have a spot for the goodies, treats, gifts. And then the last one, this is kind of giving me a, what I'm inspired to do. I'm going to use the coffee cup fold it. And we're past Christmas, so mine won't be so Christmassy, but I think it'll be for a friend, maybe a birthday. We'll see how it comes out. I've gathered lots of different items here that we can use, so we'll have some fun with that. The box that's on the inside, again, very, very easy to use. Comes in two different sizes. We're going to work with both of those, okay? So we'll have the large and the small. And then I have some of the, I've gathered some of the items that I'm going to use in today's project. I have the coffee cup fold it and then our regular coffee cup die. So with the small box it, we will use the smaller die. And with the fold it, we're going to use the larger box it die. I've gathered some stamps. Again, I'm not sure which will be used, but I will add at the end so you know which um, stamp sets I did use. I have the, this one is Lots of birthday to stamp, and there are several birthday um, sentiments on here. I'm not sure if any are going to fit in the room area that I have to, to stamp with yet, so I'll make a decision on that. And then there's just a it's your birthday. I have a feeling that's the one that's going to be get used. That's from mushrooms to stamp. I have a bunch of different embellishments. There's all kinds of extra stuff around the office, so I get to have fun and use these things. Some from some past kits. I have some little ribbon bows. And then some possibilities for some dies I might use to decorate. I have broken out a couple of the different tortoise dies. I think one is more tortoise to stamp, and then another is tortoise to stamp, the dies that match the stamp sets. And I also have the garden dies. And of course, I have some stamps of life pattern paper. This will make life a lot easier for me. I can do a lot of decorating with this without quite so much stamping and kinds of speeds things up for me. Probably we'll use one of these two. Special friend pattern paper, and I'm not sure what this one's called. And then I have a couple other ones from the past that are possibility. I have ribbon, adhesive, and cardstock. 
Some adhesive sheets, I always love to use those. And I have some foam. I always keep these handy just in case I want to add something quickly with, uh, and have the, my stamp or die turn into a sticker and easy to peel off and apply and then I don't have to worry about getting the adhesive on later. So both of these, the foam and the adhesive sheets, super popular. I use them almost every video. And then I have washi tape just in case I need to hold down a die. I have practiced a little bit ahead of time working with the die to see just how easy it would work. And this was just giving you a general example of I cut out the, the box it piece in there and I cut a couple squares, adhered it to it, and it was really, really easy. It really was. You have the options with the, the box it to, you can have it with the coffee cup, I'll need it to be a little bit taller or in this shape, more like a boat shape. You can trim it down. You can use all the scores, all the sections that are produced by the die cut. So you have lots of options with this. I did, I went ahead and adhered it and trying to think if I, the die cutting, everything worked out great. I did notice one thing that as this was sitting here for a little bit, I came back and uh, a couple of the little pieces were getting loose. So perhaps I didn't uh, adhere enough or put enough adhesive tape. Um, when I do this one that we're going to do right now, I'm going to add extra tape to make sure it stays together. And then plus it's cold here too. So that could have a little bit of effect on everything holding together. So otherwise, things are going great. Again, I spent a little bit of time gathering stamps, uh, dies, paper. Again, that's taken me the longest, just thinking ahead. But if I have everything laid out, gives me some good options as I go and maybe something will pop into my mind. And then I might even jump into the Stamps of Life gallery, look for some ideas, some creative inspiration there too. So you might want to do that as well. Okay, so let's get to work. I'm going to cut the large box it, adhere it. I'm not going to do all the decorating this time because my videos have been running a little bit long. So we'll put the box it together. Then on my own, I'm going to decorate the larger one and I will um, add some photographs. I'll tell you some of the items that I use to decorate it and then um, that will be at the end of the video. So mainly we want to just get the box it put together on the large size and the small size. So let's get started. All right, here we go. I'm going to use uh, the grape cardstock for the base and the box it. Uh, this card and again this will be easy to use and if I'm smart here I can get a couple of extra cuts out of my my card stock as well make sure you get your cutting plates lined up so this will run through nice and smooth looks pretty good there we've got the little speed bumps where that's cutting through. Again, this is very easy, guys. Really easy. And a lot of fun. So there it is, my, the box part of my project here. This can fold up, can lay flat. We'll put some adhesive on this and we'll add it to the coffee cup as we make that. And I need to get my coffee cup folded here. Open up that. Foldits are great. You can use them just as a folded card. Some of the time you'll see these foldits added to other Stamps of Life card making dies. So it's a great for combination type of thing. And I think I'll be able to get two cuts on this as well. Now if I were to make this a foldit, like I showed you some of the examples, you're going to want to pay attention to that little uh, notice there where it says fold, place fold here or here, but I'm just using this for basically the front and the back. So I'm not worried about the folded cut on these. Through there. My plates are lined up so my machine is running real smooth. This will be the front of our card. And then we're going to run, again, I keep saying card, but of our project here because this will be more like a little happy birthday gift type box. Or it could be for treats, something you could just sit out in your counter. You could give it to somebody with a little note attached to it or written on the back. 
or if we made it to fold it there, you would have plenty of space to, to add some of your sentiments. All right, so I have my two coffee cups. I just have to add this to this and we'll have our box ready to go. Let's put this off to the side. And I'm gonna leave my mat over there too. I don't wanna get any adhesive on it, but I will get a little uh, extra piece of. So I have my scratch paper here to work on with the adhesive. That was my large one there. Okay. You're gonna see this is all scored. It's all cut. All these scores will be our folds. And we can work a little ahead and get the folds kind of set in place. I'm gonna use the whole box it with this. This will give you kind of an idea of what we're going to be looking like. That will go like that and that. That looks good. Now I've decided I want to do one thing different because if I do this now, it's gonna make my life a lot easier. I want to go ahead and, since I'm gonna have an inside panel on this, this die on this, or I'm sorry, on this, uh, on this project, I wanna cut it ahead of time. And I wanted to get that piece put together before I had, had attach it to the box set. We're gonna use the inside section of the coffee cup fold it. And so we have a little bit of a contrast. We'll use this pixie cardstock. And it should look good, the pixie and the grape together. We'll just need one cut on this. And we'll run it through. And this one I'm gonna go ahead and go through twice just because it's a little more intricate than the previous dies that I was working with. So that should give us a good cut. Not just right. We're off to a great start. Let's move that off to the side. Hope you all had a fun Christmas and a happy new year. And again, uh, that your year is off to a great start. We're having fun out here in Southern California. And I know there's lots of new products coming out this month and throughout the year we have, Stephanie has lots of great stuff planned for you guys. So I want to keep checking in at the website. Watch those newsletters. It'll be giving you important information. Tell your friends too. That's one of the best ways we get new customers or to have people hear about us is if a friend tells their friend. And uh, it just means a lot to us if uh, you enjoy the Stamps of Life and you want to tell somebody else about it. We really do appreciate that. Okay, so I have this to put a little adhesive on. Okay, so I just ran out of adhesive. I'll get this new one started here. We want to make sure we get a little bit extra on this as I, just to make sure everything holds together really good. That's going to go on top like that. Gives us our nice layer. Now I'm ready to decorate that and we'll work on that in a little bit. Okay, I have folded my, my box to kind of get it ready to work and I need to add a good amount of adhesive on here. To, whoops, see there I did make a mistake. I need that adhesive to go on the outside because this is going to be the part that adheres to the, to the coffee cup. So I've got that started on the wrong side. Having that little extra adhesive on the inside won't hurt anything. So even still now, little mistakes can be made here and there. Okay. Again, all right, I have that piece ready to go. And I'm going to And hear that. Look at this, it just goes on the inside, press down, fold up, press down, halfway done already. Again, you can trim it down. You can have a larger cup like I want to have there. 
Lots of different options on this one, okay? And then we need to add the back. Again, if you are new to box it, fold it, this is a really fun combination that is really, really easy to use. We're going to get that one kind of lined up there on the bottom, and then that should get us going with all the other ones as well. I'm going to push down on these really good to make sure they're going to stay together. And if I have any concern that they're not going to, I'll want to, to get some more adhesive on here right now. Look at that. Was that easy or what? There is my large box set. Okay. Very, very, very super easy. The decorating part will be the craziest, most difficult, challenging part of this. So again, that part I'm going to do separate just to speed things up. Okay. That is the large box set. Now we're going to go ahead and work with the small ones. So just so I can show you that the small box, it will work with a lot of stamps of life dies, not every one of them, but many of them. And this small box, it is good with this coffee cup. This is our coffee cup die. There's a stamp set called, I think it's called coffee for two that works with this one. This has always been one of our best selling Stamp set, die set, and the, of the fold, it's to the coffee cup. Lots of coffee drinkers. I'm not a big coffee drinker like Stephanie. I am a Diet Coke person, so I do get my caffeine, but I get it the cold way, I guess. Diet Coke, that hits the spot. All right. I will go ahead and let's see what colors we're going to mix it up here a little bit. And we'll do a couple different colors. On this one, we'll get the, the card section of the this project cut here. I'm going to go through twice. I have my plates lined up, good cuts. Cut number one, and we're going to do that again. And I'm just using old scratch paper that I have around here. There's so much scratch paper, so many extra embellishments around here. You would not believe it. <laughs> so this is one way we get to to use some of these items. Okay, and there's my second cut. Whoops. Put a little extra on there. Peel that off. I didn't check what was on the back of that. So this will be for the smaller size box that we're making, okay? And we get our box of die. Again, maybe just for fun, why don't you post on this video what kind of box of idea you have. Maybe you've made a box it. You could add a picture of your box it on the notes down here or on YouTube. I know you get to comment on Facebook. You could add a comment and a picture. So we'd love to see the ideas, the different things you've come up with. So just for fun, if you've made a box it, why don't you go ahead and post um, what kind of box it was. Or if you have an idea, maybe you haven't made one yet yourself, <clears throat> go ahead and post that idea. Um, let's see, if you have a picture of your box it, that would be awesome. Add the picture. Picture or not picture, we're going to have a contest. Let's see. I will, what will I do? Okay, this is what we'll do for our contest. So I'll go through all the... Um, through all the comments, if it's on Instagram, on Facebook, or YouTube, and I'm just going to pick one random person, and I am going to send them this large box of die. How about that? Pretty good. I would not. I would send you more, one of my projects, but they're kind of thick, and I don't know <laughs> if they'll end up in one piece by the time I mail mail it to you. So I won't send the project, but I will send the die. So here's an example. See how it was coming apart a little bit, even on me now. And I just want to really press on that. And make sure that stays good together. So extra adhesive on this will help ensure that it's going to hold all together. So free large box of dive. But you've got to comment 
And a few days after the video is posted, I will look through all the comments. I'll look through the ideas maybe you mention, and we'll, that'll be the fun part. And then I'll pick a random winner and I'll post who that winner is, okay? And then you'll notify the office that you were chosen and you're the winner and then we'll get this mailed out to you. So that will be fun, right? And for our base on this one, we're gonna stick with the same color. I think I have just enough area to work with right there. Easy to do. And this is gonna this will be a little more intricate. I have my score lines where I'm going to fold those all up. And on the back is where we're going to put the adhesive. Remember the first time I put it on the front? We don't want to do that on the inside. It needs, the adhesive needs to be on the outside, the back piece here, okay? Let's move our machine off to the side. And I need a little scratch paper to work on. Keep that adhesive off the desk. This will work. And we're going to get some adhesive on there. Okay, there's our box section, and we're going to add this to the coffee cup. You can see how easy this is to do. You guys, you're gonna, if you haven't used this, you're really going to enjoy it. Oops, make sure we don't get that stuck on there almost. That's an adhesive on that scratch paper, and it almost stuck to my project. Now look at that. Now for this one, if I were going to continue with this project, I'd want to do my stamping, uh, uh, adhering different things for sure at this point. Because I don't have a, as with this one, I have the large inside die to kind of do a lot of the decorating. This one, I don't have that option. So I would want to stamp or decorate, put my sentiments, all that stuff now before I adhered it. And even with this one, now that I'm thinking about it, I might have to take it apart to do a lot of the work on this one and get it decorated the way I want it to be. That's one thing I didn't think about ahead of time. I just wanted to show you mainly how the box was so easy to do and get put together. But I think you'd want to do all your decorative work before you really start to put it together. Okay, so this probably will come apart in order for me to, to make it uh, look the way I would like. All right, so that piece is ready. We're gonna go ahead and add that onto there. Make sure those come out pretty even. Not hard to do. Piece that together. And really wanna push down on those inside parts. make sure that it is holding really well together. Press down. Looks like I did a good job on the adhesive. There we go. All right, so two options, the large box it or the regular small box it. You get your choice on those. I'm gonna get to work on this one. I will show you some pictures at the end here Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you're crafting, having fun. I hope you are enjoying life as much as you can right now. Make sure that you're visiting the website or checking in with videos on YouTube or on Facebook. We love to hear your comments when you guys comment on projects or uh, products, all that kind of fun stuff. We love to hear your input and hear your involvement and know that you're having a great time using the Stamps of Life products. Um, the website, if you haven't been there lately, all kinds of great stuff. I know Stephanie's been adding some new things, so you're definitely going to want to check that out, all right? Again, I'm going to get to work on these and see, well, this one, we're done with the small one. This is going to be my project I will work on. I will give you some updates on that, some photos here at the end of the video. Maybe I'll, 
I'm not sure. Maybe I'll say a few things about what I did or not. But um, this is going to be a wrap for right now. Take care. Have a great day. God bless all of you. And I will see you soon.